of God is good. And we come to bless him on tonight. Didn't we? We came to be revived, restored, renewed, and all of that and above. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. I do give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God for our Pastor Eddings. Amen. I thank God for all PEC. I thank God for our Mother Taylor. Amen. Gloria. Amen. To the aid of her husband, Deacon Jackson. Amen. Our Deacon Jack, praise God, and our Mother Smith back there. I thank God for the people of God. To our poor Pastor Brown. And to all the church men that are here. And to our Pastor Valerie. Praise God. You may be speaking in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's good to see our Pastor Valerie one more time. And we thank God for our prophetess Clark, praise God. Amen. God is an awesome God. And to our young daughter in the back, praise God. We thank God for you. Amen. It is a blessing and a privilege, amen, to be here at Church Made Without Hands, praise God. I'm no stranger, praise God. Amen. And I just thank God for all, amen, things, praise God. And just reflecting, praise God, and thinking about my friend, who's going on to be with the Lord, Pastor Jean. That was my girl. Praise God. Amen. And she left a legacy. Amen. For us to follow. Praise God. She was a true woman of God. Amen. A holy woman of God. She was the one that I could confide in. Praise God. And she poured into me like no other. Praise God. And I give God praise. Amen. That she held up a standard of holiness. Praise God. She let me know. She said, holiness is right. And I said, I know that's right. Amen. So we're going to move right along into the word of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. And I'm just thinking about, praise God, how good God is and how good he is to me. Excuse me one minute. I got to get my glasses out here. I cannot forget that. Amen. So I'm excited, praise God. Amen. About what the Lord has to say. Amen. Because, of course, the word is to me first. Praise God. It got to hit me first. Amen. And then the Lord allows, amen, me to share, amen, his rich word. Praise God. And I'm going to stick with the theme on tonight. Amen. Coming out of Isaiah 18. I'm sorry. Isaiah 43, starting at verses 18. And I'm going to go on down to 21. Amen. Isaiah 43. Glory to God. And we're going to start at verse 18, and we're going to end up down at 21. And as you're getting the scripture together, I offer up a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come into your presence once more and again, thanking and praising you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. Asking you, O oh Lord, to continue to forgive me of all my many sins, for you alone have the power to forgive us of all of our sins. And as I pray, oh God, for your people, oh God, and as I deliver your word, I pray on tonight that your word will fall upon good ground, that somebody's life will be changed, that somebody will be healed, delivered, and set free by your power. And we thank you for those who are on Facebook Live on tonight. And I pray, oh God, that you would touch them like never before, that they will receive, oh God, from you a blessing, oh God, that they too can be renewed and revived. And Father God, right now, I feel a special need, oh God, to even pray and ask that you would stretch forth your mighty hand because somebody is sick in their body right now. I come against infirmity. I come against sickness. I come against that fever. In the mighty name of Jesus, and I curse it at the root, and I pray, Father God, that your Holy Spirit will take full course on tonight. You told us in your word that we should ask anything in your name, and we're asking you, oh God, that you will touch your people from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. These things I ask in your mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Praise God. Now, we're going to feel better after a while, amen. Why? Because Jesus is in the house, praise the Lord. When Jesus is in the house, amen, things happen, praise God. Amen. Yokes are destroyed, praise God. Amen. The blind eyes are open, praise God. Amen. Bodies are being healed, hallelujah. Demons got to flee, hallelujah. But we got to lift up the name of 
Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why the Lord saved us. Glory to God. So that we can declare his word. Declare his word for what? Amen. How can we sit down on this great work? Praise God that God has done for us in our lives. Hallelujah. So we're going to stand for the reading of the word. Coming from Isaiah 43, starting at verse 18. Amen. And it reads, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field shall honor me. The dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people, somebody say, this people, this people, this people have I formed for myself, and they shall show forth my praise. Hallelujah. shall show forth the praises of the Lord. Glory be to God. Amen. And my subject for consideration is a fresh start and a new beginning. Does anybody need a fresh start? Does anybody need a new beginning? Praise God. Amen. When the New Year's is getting ready to come in, there's a saying, out with the old and in with the new, yeah. we're going to put old things behind us. On, and we're going to reach forward to the things that God has prepared yeah. for us that is new. Yeah. Glory be to God. And we thank and we honor the Lord, hallelujah, for his richness, his grace, his yeah. mercy, his love, and his kindness. Yeah. So as I begin to read the word of God, amen, I begin to get excited, praise God, because the word says that he is going to do a new thing. A new thing. And that this new thing is going to spring forth. Right. And the Bible says, shall ye not know it? And the word of the Lord begins to say, I will even make a way in the wilderness yeah. and the rivers in the desert, praise God. But before we can get to the things that God has promised us, praise God, as our prophet has said, we got to do a little bit of spring cleaning. Glory yeah. be to God. Because I'm reminded in the word of God that we can't put new wine in old skins. Oh Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Well, and we well. say we want God to bless us and, and we want God to do the new thing for us, praise God. But God, amen, is going to take his time just for a minute so that we can clean out our house. Amen. Put the devil out if we got any demons. Amen. So the Lord can fill us up. Hallelujah with his goodness, his blessings, his mercy, his love, and his kindness. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I didn't come to faith nothing, praise God. I'm just as real as real can be. Hallelujah. I remember the days when I didn't know how to be real. Hallelujah. Amen. But when mama told me about Jesus, glory be to God. Hallelujah, I had to make up in my mind. Hallelujah, I had to choose which one I was going to serve. Amen, and I was trying to get filled with the Holy Ghost, and I was trying so hard, glory to God. But God kept telling me, you got to do a little bit more cleaning. Hallelujah, you got to clean up that house, and you got to put the devil out, glory be to God. Amen, so you can prepare yourself, glory to God, to receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We're going to be honest on tonight. Yeah. 
Amen. Tonight is the night where we can clean up, pray God, because God wants to prepare us for the things that are to come. We got Thursday night revival. We got Friday night revival. But revival is every day. Amen. Seven days a week. Hallelujah. 24 hours a day. Hallelujah. We don't want to be no part-time saints. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If we want the old things to be done away with, glory to God. We got to clean up ourselves. Don't you worry about trying to clean up nobody else. But we got to work out our own soul salvation. For the Bible says we got to work it out with fear and with trembling. You see what's going on in the world today? Praise God. Amen. The fear of God has gone out from the church and from the lives of some of these folks. Glory to God. You know, we used to be ashamed, glory to God, to do certain things in front of the people of God. Now people are doing anything they want to do. They're saying whatever they want to say. But they're saying, I still, I still going to do the things that I want to do. But it don't work like that. Hallelujah. We got to choose this day who we're going to serve. Hallelujah. We're going to serve the world. Or either we're going to serve the Lord. Because the Lord.
me tell you something. Isaiah began to sum it up and let the children of Israel know that God is worth trusting. We got to trust the one, amen, who is trustworthy. Amen. Hallelujah. Trust God in everything. Hallelujah. And allow God to fill us and to refill us with his Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit is the spirit that goes before us. And it is a plan of faith that takes over. Hallelujah. Holding on to our past. Listen, we get ready to go to our new thing. Yes, yes. And in order to get there, we got to let go of some of this stuff from the past. Oh, oh, oh. Why? Because stuff from the past, let me tell you, it's holding us back and holding right. some of us down. Yeah. All right. We got to get rid of the past. Because yeah. you know they said the past will come back and haunt you. Yeah. It will if we let it. Yeah. 